Hello everybody, 223 Frank the Tank here, and I will be doing a startup tutorial on a brand new release T45C Goshawk by VNAO Simulations. This has been uh, worked on for about two years now with occasional teasers and videos coming out over the past couple months, and very excited to finally have it in DCS, and obviously it's very important that we have something like this because, check it out, dual seaters, dual controls. Finally, we have a navalized trainer where both an instructor and a student can sit in and learn the ropes of naval aviation in DCS. So, to start off, let's start with your controls that you'll need. And obviously, you could bind a whole jet, but to get it started, you need these two controls. Find a gas turbine starter button and have that bound. And in your throttle finger lift, which is basically uh, kind of your, your cutoff bind. So with these two uh, bound, you could start the jet. We're going to start in the right panel down here. Your battery one on, battery two on, your, your generator on. And now, let's go down here. Your engine start, leave that to on. And you're going to hold down the gas turbine button. Let's also close the canopy because it's going to get loud. So you're going to want to hold this down until you see the GTS pop up any moment okay with GTS on you're gonna hold down the start button and keep holding it until you see ready so now you see ready get that finger lift up engine started and now you're gonna get rid of the you can let go of the GTS button and there she goes she's starting up Let her start up all the way. Now, as you can see, you've got a hydraulic uh, and nose wheel steering augmentation light still on. What you want to do is come down here and just hold down this reset button, and that light's going to go away. Turn on your HUD. Obviously, we're on a carrier, so don't turn on the lighting, <laughs> or you'll be screamed at by uh, by the mini boss. We're on a carrier, so leave the anti skid off. If you're on an airfield, leave it on. And then in the bottom right, let's turn on those MFDs. Let's get our ADI over here. And then whatever you want here, HUD, or you could put, honestly, whatever you want. So this is really an awesome thing to have in DCS, especially for us who want to, uh, who are in virtual squadrons. And we're obviously going to do a lot of testing and make sure that's compatible uh, with our pipelines because we want to be able to have F-14 and F-18 instructor pilots able to teach uh, the new students on all the basics, formation, etc. And so far, plane feels great. Flight model is pretty, pretty amazing for a mod. I would definitely pay for this module if it was a little bit more fleshed out. And, uh, you know, with some time, I'm sure it will be. Uh, it's a little bit future limited, but as a trainer, it's going to work perfectly fine for our purposes. Anyways, I hope uh, this tutorial was able to help out. It's a really simple startup. Have a good one. See ya.